G'day, I'm Warwick Scheller and today I want to talk to you a bit about keeping your horse mentally balanced. And what I mean by that is if your horse mentally is one of those fast horses, you know, all they want to do is go, they're really alert, that sort of thing, you want to balance them up to where you'd want to have them on, but on the duller side. Whereas if you've got a horse that's kind of dull and lazy and slow, you want to get them mentally to where they're a bit more snappy, you know. One of the biggest uh, things I hear from a lot of people is, you know, my horse, he's perfect he's always done everything i ever wanted but then the other day i went for a trial ride and we came along to let's say a log or a ditch or whatever and he didn't want to cross it and so i kicked him in the belly and he bucked me off what should i have done and to those people i usually say so your horse is always perfect is he and they go yes he does exactly what i want all the time I go, okay, so what is it you want him to do? Do you want him to go really slow and quiet or do you want him to go really fast and, you know, full of energy? She goes, no, no, I want him to be really, really quiet. And I, my next question to those people is, so would you classify your horse as naturally quiet or naturally want to go? And they go, oh, no, no, he's naturally really quiet. And I say, well, there's your problem. Your horse has not ever, you know, when you think your horse has done everything you've ever wanted, he's never done anything you wanted. He's only ever done what he wanted. And then come the one day when you wanted to do something that he didn't want to do and you tried to take control, he said, get lost, you've never ever been in charge. I've always been in charge. I've always dictated the speed we do things at. Do you understand what I mean there? You know, you never ever hear someone with a horse that's really charging and wants to go all the time, really energetic. You never hear one of those people say, oh, my horse is perfect. I love it. All he does is jig and he, he wants to run off all the time. I love that. You know, that's usually people don't... Um, they don't think that's a good idea. So usually it happens with lazy kind of horses. Like this one right here. This is my uh, wife's two-year-old. He's really lazy, would like to drag behind me when I lead him, okay? Now, for the most part, I always want horses to lead behind me, okay? I don't want them to lead in front of me. For the reason being is that horses in nature, when they walk along together, they never walk along side by side. One's in front, one's behind, and it's the leader that's in front, okay? But this one here is lazy and really wants to drag behind, okay? So, you know, when I walk, he kind of wants to just be back there. So I want to have it, to, when I point this, he shoots up here. I want to, if I point my hand, he gets a lot of energy like that. I want him to walk beside me, and if, like I said, if I point, he goes faster. Just because that's not his nature. Okay, does that make sense? I've got him to where I point, boom, those feet start moving. I think about moving my hand, he thinks about moving his feet. And all I'm doing with him is just balancing him up. Because if I let him walk back there where he really wants to walk, he wouldn't be learning anything. That's just really what he wants to do. As opposed to, say, this three-year-old warm blood stay. And this horse, everything he does, he wants to do it in a hurry. You know, when he walks, he wants to walk up past you. So with him, I tend to walk really slow. And if I stop, boom, he should stop. If I step backwards, he should step backwards. You know, I really want to take this horse and mentally slow him down, whereas Albert, the two-year-old, I mentally want to speed him up sort of thing, because, like, you know, riding him is exactly the same as leading him. He's lazy, he doesn't really want to go anywhere, or didn't initially, he's good now. And this one here, riding him, was exactly the same as leading him. All he wanted to do was go fast and, uh, you know, have his attention elsewhere. So you really got to get him dialed in and thinking about, thinking about you. So anyway, try that at home with your horses. Make sure that you are balancing them mentally so that you, your horse is working on their weak point rather than just working on what they do well. And you'll end up, all those horses will end up in the middle, you know, like this one here and the two-year-old both ride around about the same now. You ask in the trot, they both have that middle trot. They're not, you know, Albert's not trotting like he wants to walk and this one's not trotting like he wants to canter. They're both in the middle, but I've done a lot of balancing to the other side from what they both naturally are at. So I hope that helps. See you guys next time.